Okay, so how to use ChatGPT with KGR keywords so that you've got an article that you can build out with another tool that can help you with automation but make your content more natural and help you to get rankings. So let's go with this. And what I'm doing is I'm using Keyword Intent. Okay, it's a free keyword tool. I've got the premium version because I co-own this tool. And you can see here that I've done a search for high ticket affiliate marketing, okay? And what I've done here is I've simply put a filter for the volume not to be more than 250, okay? That's the cutoff point for the KGR, the keyword golden ratio. Then I copy these and I put it through the KGR tool within Keyword Intent. Now you can put up to 12 API keys. These are Google API keys. And each API key can get you 100 free keyword searches um, for the KGR calculation, which is the all in title. Okay, so you can get 1200 KGR keywords per day. So I put all of these in here and you can see I've got a whole bunch of results coming back. Every single one of these <clears throat> has been returned. So I've checkboxed the ones that are under 0 0.25. Okay, from there, what I've done is just simply copy to clipboard and go over. It's ready to go over now into chat GPT. Okay, so what we need to do is we'll come over here, we'll click on new chat. And what I want to do is tell chat GPT to write a comprehensive article including all of the keywords. Now, I do not expect it's going to do all of the keywords, but what we're doing is we're feeding it enough information by putting all of these keywords in so that it creates an outline, okay? The more keywords we put in, the better the outline is gonna be. It's not the final result we're looking for when we get the result back from it writing an article. I don't expect it's gonna even finish that article, but it's the input that's important, and then we can break it down from that point forward, okay? So I'll pause while I write this out. Okay, we're back now. I put all of the keywords in here, and any dates, it was like 2020 or 2019. I've changed all the dates to 2023. So basically, I've told ChatGPT to create an article that includes all of these keywords as high quality, comprehensive, and with subsections using subheadings at each subheading. Okay, so subheadlines at each subheading. And I keep repeating parts of words in here so that it fully understands what I want. Okay, so what we're looking for is it's gonna do an outline which it's doing, okay? And it's putting those keywords within here as it goes along. And that makes our job a lot easier later when we want to take it further. And this is quite good so far. And so all of those KGR keywords are gonna be here. Now these are important. I know a lot of people will um, sort of scoff at the KGR idea because of the search volumes. But here's the thing, not all of those keywords that have got you know, not a lot of searches on the search engine, uh, on the keyword tools are actually with not a lot of traffic. Some of them have got a lot of traffic. And what you will find as well is that even those that you can rank for quite easily, if they start getting engagement on your website, you start getting CTR click throughs onto your website, then that is sort of positive um, ranking factor for SEO, okay? So they can drive rankings for other keywords just from the engagement just from being able to click through from search engines or being able to get clicks from the search engines from the engagement on the site and if there's any backlinks and social sharing of course that's helpful as well okay so we've got all this done it actually finished it okay so what we can do then is we can take this and i'm going to tell it actually can you write an introduction because there's no introduction here okay okay please write an intro introduction for this article so we got this as well happening that's handy and we can also take it further by asking it um, please create a schema FAQ for this article You can ask it for the code as well, which I'm not going to do because I use um, an SEO plugin to just put these in. 
but we're getting the schema FAQ done. If you were paying a, a, a virtual assistant to do this for you, it's going to take you a lot longer and cost you money. This is just this is a game changer for the amount of time you can spend and the amount of time you can save and the, the, the money you, you can save as well. So um, it, in that respect, it's a complete game changer. And it's only going to get better as well. Now I want some headlines. So what I'll do is, and please give me five Headlines optimized for CTR. Oh, my typos. I do a lot of typos. I type with two middle fingers. I'm just going to copy this, actually. Okay, and I'm going to say, give me five sub headlines as well and we got five sub headlines you can even use some of these headline and sub headline sometimes and one more thing I'm going to tell it to create a VSL for a video to promote this article and it's writing my VSL for me okay I'll tell it to break it down this VSL break it down into key moments so we can use them for timestamps <laughs> incredible right the reason I did this is because if I'm going to record this, I'm not going to do very well recording, just reading out from the screen. But if you give me bullet points to keep me on track, I can do that much, much better. Sounds much more natural. So uh, that's why I did that. And at the end of uploading a video, you can tell it to go and create the timestamps for you. Just tell it to put the time at the beginning. You can see it puts the time at the end here. You can tell it to put the time at the beginning and you can you can tell it to start from 0, 0.00 with introduction uh, so that you've got something ready to copy and paste. Okay, so we got all of that done, right? So what we want to do is we want to use another tool to help us to bulk out the content to make it um, more uh, natural for the search engines. Okay, so the next step is we put our content into a Google Doc okay and the Google Doc we can use in conjunction with a couple of extra Chrome extensions to make things easier okay so what I suggest you do when you start to put the text into your Google Doc is to do it one section at a time you can see here for example I've got a whole bunch of questions if you try to put all of that at the end it's going to be very very confusing it's kind of hard to assemble so when you start to get these what you can do is you can copy this and you can see from reading this if you actually read it's giving us bullet points now I need to expand on those bullet points for example it's saying introduction to high ticket affiliate programs and uh, definition of high ticket affiliate programs benefits of types of well I would need to prompt at this point like give me um, a paragraph for this and give me a paragraph for this and give me a paragraph for this that's because of the way I wrote my prompt okay I could have wrote, wrote that prompt better but this is what I've got right now so I can either tell it to rewrite or I can just copy these and say put these in a paragraph format that I can just use okay so um, it's better if you're getting these back that you respond or reprompt with chat GPT to give you a different output a better output and once you've got that then to start putting it into your Google Doc it's going to be quicker it's going to be easier it's going to be faster okay so coming back over to the doc now you'll notice with chat GPT that it does um, a sort of style of writing it becomes familiar after a while okay you start to notice similarities in its responses and that's kind of dangerous if you want to use this for the purpose of uh, search engine optimization so what we can do is we can use another Chrome extension 
and this one is called word trim this is how it works all you do is you highlight the text okay and you can see this little w here you can choose to rewrite and it's going to give you some suggestions you can see here and this gives you more um, variation in the text that you've got okay it can shorten the text as well and um, you can choose it to do it by paragraph um, I think you have to upgrade for the paragraph but anyway you can do one sentence at a time if you want if you don't want to upgrade but this is going to help you to do something a little bit better with the text so that you can avoid it looking all the same sort of um, similar traits with those uh, text. I'm going to upgrade to this actually. I think this is very good for what we're doing here. And um, the second thing that we can do is use a Chrome extension called Text Optimizer. Okay, now Text Optimizer, once you've installed it, it's going to ask you to install a Google Docs plugin. The Google Docs plugin um, prompt comes once you start to use Text Optimizer for your Google Doc okay inside your Google Doc it will tell you here to install now once you start to see that and once you've installed it I should say what you can do is you can click on extensions and you can see down here we've got text optimizer and we can click on start and that's going to bring up this sidebar here and this is going to give you some suggestions okay so here you can see we're going to choose English it's going to load up this is the first time I've used it on this particular browser so I had to install it again and you can see here the SEO score is quite poor and it's telling you some keywords that you can use okay so you can insert these keywords that will also help you to be able to uh, make your text a little bit more very with a little bit more variation but it's better to go through paragraph by paragraph and if you've used the word trim then it's going to be um, slightly different from what you've got here so use the word trim first and then insert those keywords that suggested here that's how you can take it further that's how you can differentiate the content so if you try to take chat GPT content and put it straight on a website it probably could work for non-competitive niches and if you try to rewrite it you're going to have that variation that nobody else would have that you're going to get rid of that style that keeps popping up with the chat GPT okay so I'm not going to go and complete this article on a video that's going to take far far too long but you get an, you get an idea how we can use this quite effectively with a combination of WordChin and with a combination of text optimizer to make completely unique content where about 80% of the work has been done as far as the outline as far as um, suggestions as far as giving us a base to work on before you publish an article okay you can also use the outlines as well for videos okay so thanks for watching if you like this kind of content please subscribe to the channel and please give the video a like because it helps with the Google algorithm or the YouTube algorithm I should say thanks